Hey, my dear here. And as you all know, friends, cold and flu season is around the corner. So now is the time to start preparing our bodies by boosting our immune system. And personally, I don't know any other way than making this spicy and healing apple cider elixir at home. This wonderful tonic will not only prevent and fight cold and flus, but also stimulate digestion, is a great anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial. It will boost your immunity and also it will help you with congestion friends so the recipe i'm going to be making today is a version from the original fire cider of the wonderful herbalist rosemary goldstar so she has a wonderful book well she has many books and this is great for beginners to get you started into the herbal world and that being said there are many versions out there so once you get more comfortable feel free to add and change herbs and spices the basic ingredients that you want to use are apple cider ginger horseradish um, onion and garlic and you may think well but it's just a little warm yeah and it's true it's a little warm but this drink takes about four to six weeks to ferment to mature right so we're gonna do it now so we have it ready whenever it's time for that nasty cold and flu okay let's just start the equipment you need it is a quart glass jar like a mason jar type and then you need a lid and preferably plastic you can find it very inexpensive at target uh, or you can use the original metal one but with the metal one you're going to have to use a small piece of parchment paper or wax paper in between because the apple cider will rust um, when in contact uh, with the metal right so that's all and as if you were doing sauerkraut basically what we're going to do is just add stuff the um, herbs and whatever and we're gonna you know press it and then do another layer another layer another layer until we fill out about three-fourths of a cup uh th three-fourths of the jar and then we're gonna add apple cider so we're gonna submerge everything in apple cider right so everything has to all the content has to uh, remain stay below the apple cider and okay let's start so uh, if I forget to mention ingredient, as usual, friends, remember that I will be posting the ingredients and the directions step by step so you don't miss anything. So this is the horseradish and oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. So if your nose is congested, this is, this is, this is fantastic. Um, good. So I just place the horseradish, right? And it smells like sushi. <laughs> It smells like wasabi. Yeah, wasabi uh, is definitely uh, made partly of horseradish. Now, turmeric and cinnamon. And turmeric, you can also add fresh turmeric, but I couldn't find it, so I have grounded turmeric. And cinnamon because I like um, the punch, the kind of like sweet flavor, and also it's a great anti-inflammatory. Uh, great ginger. Okay, now we're gonna kind of press it down you see friends what i'm doing i'm just pressing it down like this and it's pretty it's all full of colors and oh did i mention that that it's um easier if you use a mason jar with a white mouth so you can actually stick your fist and press it down now this is a um, garlic chopped garlic here we have jalapeno and sweet onion and um as much as you can when possible use organic right because these ingredients are raw so we want to make sure that we are putting in our bodies the highest quality ingredients possible now i'm going to be adding also orange and of course it's being scrubbed and it's organic and that's it right so i'm gonna just press it down a little bit that's it and we're gonna go ahead and put the apple cider remember we're gonna submerge all the stuff oops <laughs> and this is super 
super inexpensive and easy to make, honestly. The hardest part is the chopping and then that's it. It's over. Okay, so you wanna again make sure that everything is submerged. Right, good. And you can add other herbs that you like such as parsley, mint, rosemary, thyme, which add other properties as well, burdock, so it's a little bit up to you again as long as you add the basic ingredients, right? So, okay. So now, if you happen to have a fermentation weight, you know, the weights that you put on top of your sauerkraut, if not, that's fine, so this, it's gonna keep everything stuffed down. If not, you can leave it as it is and just go ahead and put the lid on. Okay, our tonic is ready to brew, so let it brew for about three to four weeks in a dark, uh, dry place. And once it's done, what um, what I do uh, with a cheesecloth, I strain all the um, herbs, all the stuff, and I use a cheesecloth instead of just a regular um, strainer because with cheesecloth you can really squeeze the last bit of uh, that liquid contained on the herbs, right? And then you just transfer it to a clean glass container and you just put it on your fridge and it will last you up to a year on the fridge but I can guarantee that you, <laughs> you're gonna run out of it soon, uh, sooner than that and how, how do you drink it, right? You might be wondering so some people, and I do take it as a um, preventive uh, measurement thing so I have it as a daily basis, like a daily wellness shop I have one tablespoon just spoon it and directly into my mouth because I like the flavor. It's definitely pungent and, and hot, right? But um, you can also add it to your dressings, to your salads, you can add a little bit to your rice, to your veggies, you can add a tablespoon to your hot tea, and you can also drink it with orange juice, lemon juice, kombucha, and your green juice, and also um, if you find it a little too pungent, I would suggest you to add one fourth of a cup or one third of a cup or two taste of raw honey just to make it a little more sweet, um, a little more palatable and also raw honey has got a lot of properties. Okay friends, so I'm gonna make another batch now and that being said, I hope you enjoy it. If you found this valuable, um, share it and let your friends know and have a wonderful weekend, take care of yourself. Bye.